As for all these keys we've found, I can't help but be curious as to what their function might be. Should I bother with this Frost Astronaut? say anything of the sort. So I suppose that it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Please go ahead. Speak. Hmm. Well, you didn't attack me. I suppose leaving all those victims alone didn't seem to produce any kind of irritation on their part, so that's all well and good. Actually, it wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it would be. Yes, well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind terribly much if I took a rest down here. I mean, there's no one to even really see me do it, so I suppose that it really wouldn't be an issue. a good long while, I'm exhausted. Ascended to level 16. You've been trying too hard, thinking too much. Relax, trust your instincts. Just be yourself. Do the little things, and the big things take care of themselves. Intelligence, willpower, and because it's a time 3, we might as well take advantage of the larger multiplier. Agility. Well and good. Okay then. Mm -hmm. This way. That puzzle box you were asking for? Wealth beyond measure. So you've returned with it, then tell me, what was inside? Don't know, I never opened it. I thought you would have shown a little curiosity. Inquisitive mind is a healthy mind, you know. Alright, very... Open the damn thing. To enjoy these little toys, and I seem to enjoy making them. Very well. Yes. There is a note for you inside. Excellent, Abriel. You do show some cleverness and ingenuity. May I have the note? Of course. Thank you. Uh, this is just Yagram's way of saying hello. I must remember to go visit him again soon. Now that you have passed my little test, you are free to return to visit any time. You should be able to activate the teleport platform now. Thank you, Dibyath here. Seem to have lost uh, a bit. <laughs> this is going to be a fun glitch of the game. I bet you can bribe him. Oh no, oh no, that doesn't work at all. Oh no. Hey, maybe if we use a... <laughs> a fortified personality potion. Maybe the bribes work better at that point? No, they don't? At all? Oh, they do, okay. Oh, oh, no, no, oh. And then it goes back, and then it goes down again, and... Oh man, that's just funny. <laughs> All right, <laughs> wow, that is pretty cute that he would be so hostile to bribes. I don't know, I just wanted to see whether you could like make powerful NPCs like that like you just by giving them like 10 symptoms. I don't know, to see if you could really break the game if, they did. <laughs> if it was that bad. I don't know, it was fun finding out about it at least. Little experiments that we do. Okay, intelligence, willpower, agility. Hmm. 
<laughs> ah, yes, and he wants us to take a peek inside. Let us levitate. Side, of course. Ah, yes, you can use it now. Very good. Don't really think there's anything else that he wants us to do. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? So there is all that stuff that we found. These various keys. We did find one in the ancient area too. So I suppose what we could do is go down there and try to actually. Uh, that's something I'd forgotten to do see if that final key we found was the one that actually opens up that underground area. Yeah, I think we will do that on our way to activating uh, this final platform here. Making it possible to travel to every other place other than Telnaga. Still running around. I could definitely... Oh no. Oh wait, they said the guards you were allowed to fight, but I have no particular wish to do battle with any of these fools. We ran out of space on that hard drive again, and we just skipped ahead a hallway before I realized that Fraps was no longer recording. So here we are again, trying to see if that one last key we found was the right key to open up this particular little lock in this very odd little underwater chamber here. And it doesn't seem to be really makes me think that there's probably a key hidden down here somewhere that uh, has just what we're looking for. Ash pile. With more vampiric dust. Did we take it? Should have two of them now. We do. Interesting. More vampiric dust. Here's whoever was here was actually experimenting upon vampires, curiously enough. Hmm. Apparently we cannot understand it, and there is no key to open it. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to figure this out. Hmm. Nope. There's no evidence of any such key. Let's go and see what there is for us to do at the guild hall. So a simple recall spell. 
see how our little fool there, our mouth, managed to... Whether he was able to complete his assignments. And what they have to say about our stronghold. Want the Ring of Equity? I found it for you. I got the ring for you. It's all yours. It should help if you have to fight another wizard, but you can only use it once or twice in a fight. Interesting. Sure. I know where the Amulet of Unity is. It was made many years ago, back in the First Era. It's on the mainland and heavily guarded. I don't want to have to fight those guards, so I'll need at least five standard potions of invisibility. I can cast invisibility, of course, but I'll want to save my magicka for other things. So he expects five standard potions of invisibility. But he's quite useful at fetching things, so I might as well get what is needed to keep him busy. Right. So then, let us examine this ring he found for us. Ring of Equity. Spell Absorption 100 points for 30 seconds on self. Reflect 70% for 30 seconds on self. That is incredibly powerful. Undoubtedly what I would need if uh, I ran into any such wizards. Brill mentions to himself as he absently eats some peanuts. <laughs> So we'll quickly get him five standard potions of invisibility, and then go talk about uh, this particular little artifact that we found. Or rather, artifact. No. Wish to... What was it? I can't even remember. Ah yes, about the house. Or the stronghold, to be more precise. Okay. Let's see, we should definitely make ourselves some restore magic potions while we're at it. But meanwhile, standard potions of invisibility. Since they just won't accept anything that we make, can't see why, but it's his decision. And are they honestly saying that they don't actually have it on her here? Really? How frustrating is that? Well, let's just trade for what we do know that we want. So we have frost salts, one of these. potions. Do need uh, something for restoring fatigue. Something other than crab meat. Wick wheat, willow ether, no. I have swore she had something to that effect. Heckle a leaf. It's a bit expensive, but we can make do by simply uh, trading off some of the poisons that we've made. Me. 
Let's see. Where are those? Let's restore magic. And I do believe there were some danger hearts I had here. I must have already used them for that purpose. Not unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. I would take potions. Restore fatigue and luck. All the things. That works well enough, I suppose. Paralyze and restore health. <laughs> Not the best combination. Hmm, I suppose that's enough for now. Unfortunately, she does not have these uh, standard potions of invisibility that I'm looking for. I'm not really sure who would. I suppose uh, I should check another alchemist at another time, but I've been waiting long enough. For, um, to hear about news about my stronghold. So I think that is what I will go speak about. And I'll assign more tasks for Fast Eddie soon enough. Please, go ahead, Outland. I'm listening. Please, get out of my way, you simpering fool. Ugh. Why? Why is it always this way? Hear about what kind of progress has been made thus far. Speak, traveler. How is my stronghold coming along? Yes, I want to check on your stronghold, which is being built on the alleged site of Uberith's grave. I will mark it on your map. Go there and speak with Gashnak Gramugahal, the foreman in charge of constructing your stronghold. Oh, of course you sign an orc to do that. That's disgusting. What do you want of me, Outlander? Towers being built on the ruins of Tel Uberith, which is due west of Tel Fear and northwest of the Eber Arabinimensum camp. 